he was going to take Kostelix's lance and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. So might be a little bit of beef between these two um, coming off of Wilson's really solid placement and Kostelix's pretty good placement from final round. Yep. But after yesterday, man, Kostelix looking nuts. Yeah, I'm talking about nuts. What is this rate map picks, Sparky? Um, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. Like, it's crazy that someone's playing Rayman, period. It's more of a um, they huh? both were kind of hovering on before the stream started. They were both hovered on Rayman, and I thought it was like that button check meme joke where people will hover on Rayman. But, like, he has gauntlets coming over from the Caspian. We know that. He obviously is one of the best Axe players in the world right now. And one of the few as well. But, I mean, this Rayman pick isn't the weirdest thing coming from Wilson. But you're right, it is kind of strange. Yeah, it's super strange. Um... If there is one person to do it, it would be Wilson, in my opinion. Uh, just because Wilson just makes anything that's kind of weird work. Uh, it's kind of his style, almost. Um, we did see a little bit of beef going on on Twitter earlier today. However, I think that's more about Wilson's um, shtick, where he likes doing stuff like that. and uh, Yeah, absolutely. Like, trying more about getting into the head of people. More like the WWE type of stuff, you know? Like, even more in your ballpark, actually, when I think about it. Um, Anyways, this game so far pretty even. Uh, Wilson Rayman not looking too shabby. Did that? Oh. oh. Now you talked about yesterday how you like uh, Val Sword Side Signature yep. because you can go over the edge. Mm -hmm. Now on a map like Shipwreck and a player like Kostelix, we see what he just did, the side signature with the hammer, because that will hit over the edge as well. You see him doing it yep. again. That is a very popular option that he uses oh, all the time. And a gauntlet down signature. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that kill anybody in a tournament even probably hit anybody in a tournament yeah. my entire career i like i like how wilson just pretty much using it like riding his guitar down sick exactly <laughs> like that hovering it over oh my costly with the four piece hitting that salad down there into another into the dash jump say read um on his wilson's jump wilson though showing his gauntlet combo yeah. wait a minute wait hit a it again? minute what? Does, okay, does he have the timing? He doesn't have the timing. You don't see him commit off stage. Classic Wilson oh boy, move no right recovery. there. And he still has Kostelix. He oh said Kostelix on the edge for like 25 seconds. Oh, Wilson. This is the most basic edge guard I've seen in my life, and it's working out perfectly. And Wilson getting the KO on that. Um, Did he get hit a single time after the first moment that he pushed Kostelix off the edge there? I think I had like once, and he just tapped back instantly with a cider, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think... Like, I mean, the thing about... Oh, I, honestly... What is going on, dude? <laughs> Bro, this gauntlet neutral from Wilson is incredible. So far, Wilson, it's, it's like adding Mystic type of neutral, honestly, where he's not really getting the biggest of hits, but it's just one hit into another, into like another weird angle on a side sink. Oh, that thing's actually nuts, by the way, though. It is so fast. Is it though? And the longer you charge oh it, my. oh, we charged that one up too. Wilson's a two stock with Raven. Wilson's one of my favorite players. That took less than three minutes. That was amazing! That took less than three minutes. You didn't realize we saw Costling's body in Will Cap. It was a three stock. How do you Straight go up. from how do you go from that to a Rayman pick coming out of nowhere and just Straight up. Man, all I'm seeing is Will Cap. Sizic I'm oh Will Cap holy. All I'm seeing is Wilson, Sizic, into Nusik, into it being the KO. I didn't even understand. What is going on, Sparky? I think he's going to be able to use that side sig really well because the longer you charge it, the more range you get, mm -hmm. but you don't even have to charge it for very long to get the max range. I can't remember how long you have to charge it. There was one time where uh, when Rayman first came out that me and Magmabot were trying to figure out how you could, how long you had to charge to get that max range because it does have a ton of range on it. The neutral signature has a pretty good amount of range on it too and a decent size hitbox. Like it won't cover quite like a uh, Ragnar Axe neutral sig where it has that cone, yeah. but it has a very high range. So you can catch someone one to one one and a half jump heights up if you place it well enough. And Wilson is a player who regularly kills with signatures. Yep. So he's able to use signatures in the exact moment that he needs to. Dodging through that sidelight stair, which gets a lot of players caught out a lot of times from Kostelix. He's able to get back to the platform. His gauntlet neutral is so good. I think about Wilson, uh, I mean, I think about Rayman's signatures and gauntlets the same way I think about Koji's uh, neutral sig and uh, side sig on both. And as I said, that's Wilson with that sideline recovery. However, uh, it's pretty much the same way how like it just has this extended uh, hitbox that just goes all the way out, even though it's staying still. And um, actually very surprised about Rayman's signature. I think the pick about Rayman is just so frustrating because you actually don't know what that character does because no one plays it. 
I definitely agree with that. So like the side signature range, Kostelix might underestimate it. He might he might not know exactly where it lands. The neutral signature, he might not know exactly what the range is. So he sees Wilson charging it and then it came out and maybe he expected it to be a lot lower. So he was like, oh yeah, I'm in perfect punish spot if he's gonna go right above me. But he was able to to catch him out with it. And oh, we oh, might see a turnaround here Kostelik from Kostelix putting out some serious KO. damage onto Wilson. He has the lead now. I think mean, the reason why Kostlik is struggling so hard against Wilson's Gauntlet is because Kostlik is actually choosing these hard options instead of just going for Nairs and Nairs and Siders. Uh, he's choosing it down there. He's choosing the typical grounded sideline uh, approach gameplay. Oh my, Wilson. He's oh down. my he's weapon, gosh. Bro. Why is this working? Kostlik's, his movement almost looks like a little bit scared. Like, I think he, he doesn't know how to deal with this right now. And so he's playing a little bit more defensively than normal. So he's not controlling as much space as he normally does. His punishes aren't as tight as they normally are. Like his side air punishes on Lance are not what we've come to know from him. And I think that has to do a good bit with one. Wilson's an amazing player. And this matchup is just maybe not in Kostelix's wheelhouse yet. Like nobody, literally nobody plays Rayman in any serious capacity. Yeah, so that it's important that shit's serious because I have seen people mess around with Rayman a lot because it's Rayman, you know? It's a character that everyone wishes to be more viable. Uh, yeah. However, uh, the top player consensus is that he's not the most viable character. But Wilson's showing us completely wrong because the fact that no one plays this character. So how are you going to even know what the signature does? He's tossing that signature left and right without getting punished for it. Uh, and it's working out great. I don't even understand why his gauntlet is working against his lens. And he's not even really playing Axe, and he's more of an Axe player than anything else. He yep. hasn't even really touched the weapon. That goes to show how strong his gauntlets are. Oh, Kostlik does get that KO. At this point, Kostlik's better hope for a miracle because Wilson's about to take this two. Oh, however, this is a best of five. That's the perk of uh, these tournaments. Uh, it's that it's two days and we get best of fives. So Kostlik does have one more game to adapt to if he loses. Oh. <laughs> And that is it. Not going to have enough to charge that JV2. up. That's a 2-0 mm -hmm. so far in this set. Kostelix is going to have to find something and find it very quickly. I expect to see the Wilson locking in Rayman again. We we could see a character swap. I don't think we will, but we possibly could see. Wilson is the type of player who will sometimes swap on victory just to kind of mix it up just a little bit. No, you're right about Kag to swap, but I think Kostelix is swapping it up. Genuinely. He might be going over to the rolling pick. Oh, oh no, he's gonna he's gonna stick with the Scarlet. I like that. I respect that, actually. Um, I generally think it's more about how Kostlik is playing it. I mean, there's two factors that are coming in. One is Wilson. Wilson's fr uh, a freak at dodging uh, a lot of stuff. And Kostlik is going for Salas a lot. And that is a one frame uh, string. So the issue with yeah. that is that he's losing out on damage because he's not going for the Salas Nair. Uh, and Wilson, as we know, will pretty much dodge it every single time. That's what he's actually done. He's not gotten hit by it once. Uh, so far which sure. is impressive because yep. that cannot be said about every other player in nope. the game like that's the reason Kostelik still goes for that because mm -hmm. he still catches people out of it uh, definitely online like one dodge window still is a very small window like you have to be oh really God. precise with that. Look at, he's controlling on stage Sider. with Nair Wilson's guitar I mean Wilson's I'm so used to seeing Wilson's guitar honestly when I see Gauntlet I just think guitars the thing about Wilson's Gauntlet is it's really fashion it looks like Addy's man it just straight up is one hit into one hit into one hit. You don't see these big combos that you see Sandstorm or Ethan go for. It's just single hit, singular hits and he's creating up damage like that. That is insane. How are you winning based off single hits on Gauntlets? Gauntlets doesn't do much damage on single hits. And it's because he's getting them constantly and he's not taking hits in between like he's going even so far with Kostlix there's a nice side there the weapon toss is going to go right under him Kostlix has the lance goes for the neutral signature Wilson dodges through it tries to go for the ground pound the down sig is going to get through Wilson's spot dodge again the weapon toss going oh, back to the lance there's another neutral signature yeah. Kostlix takes the lead has he figured out how to beat Wilson this is why top eight is best of five. Oh boy if this was best of three Kostlix would have already been knocked oh, out of this matchup edge, he would have had to go down to the losers bracket but Wilson <sighs> controlling bringing it back very quickly that was so close he was pretty much picks us away um i would say that my monitor actually turned off i think it was fine staying stacked 
That's exactly what Wilson wants and what Kostelix doesn't want. Kostelix doesn't have very many uh, stacked options. He has the D-Light, but if he's in the air, the neutral air kind of has that dead zone right on top of his character. And yesterday we did learn what stack means. So stack is when you're right on top of another player. You see Wilson just completely controlling that ground, dodging through that neutral signature. There's the side light stare that you were talking about. There's the recovery. He's gonna need more than that to kill. Send you upward and left, upward and right on that diagonal line. That's the longest vector that you could possibly travel to get to the blast zone. So it's gonna take a little bit more damage before Kostelix is ready to kill with that, even on a high strength legend. Nice neutral signature coming out from Wilson. This Rayman pick, man, I am absolutely loving this. I wanna see this more on land. I wanna see this more online. I'm loving it. Daiku, you all right, boy? Um, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Dude, the gameplay is actually so incredible. My monitor just blew up. <laughs> You're gonna need a few more hertz to capture all of this and it's This story. is why we don't pick Rayman tournaments. Sparky, <laughs> update me. I'm blind. <laughs> Wilson has almost a full stock lead. Like it was so even. And then all of a sudden it, it did that thing that we sometimes see in games where like they're both in red on their second stock. Then one player gets a kill. And then all of a sudden they're both in red again, but one of them's on their last stock. That's what we have right here. Wilson might take this 3-0 and he does with another two stock. That exactly sounds like Wilson and what I would expect of Wilson, where if he, even if he loses his first dog, he has that extreme mental fortitude to just continue on adapting. 